Hi, this is Ed Muscati from Control Specialties. We're going to take a few minutes and give you some ideas on how to eliminate water in your compressed air, which can lead to all kinds of serious problems in your compressed air system. Typically to drain condensate and oil and trash which accumulates in the system, you have four basic choices. <clears throat> One would be just simply using a manual ball valve, which is a very ineffective way to do it and will waste a lot of air. Uh, the second option is to use timer drains and I would really propose to you that it's almost impossible to set the timer drain to whatever interval is going to be really suitable to blow the water off without wasting air. We find in almost all cases that timer drains blow an enormous amount of air. <clears throat> the third choice would be to use some sort of mechanical trap such as an inverted bucket trap or a flow trap. They work well if there's not problems in your system with a lot of goo and glop and so on, which is typically not the case. And of course the last solution, the one that we want to talk a bit with you about, is a product called Drainol, which is built specifically for this application. Uh, Drainol is really just simply a float operated trap. The float itself has got a set of magnets in it, so when the float is in a down position, the air supply to a cylinder valve, which opens and closes a full size one inch ball valve, is closed. As water level rises inside that container, the float rises up, it snaps a magnetically operated valve that puts air pressure on the actuated cylinder, the full size ball valve opens up and all the water and oil and dirt and trash is discharged from the unit, there's nothing to block up, no electricity required and it's absolutely simple. Installation of the unit is again very straightforward, no electricity is required, you just simply take a one inch drain line from the point that you want to actually eliminate the condensate and other materials from Include it with the drain all as a uh, set of plastic tubing along with T's and the required valves and you just simply tie that into some auxiliary connection on your equipment you want to drain. Typically we look for a pressure gauge connection or any quarter or half inch NPT connection is all you really need. The unit is designed to sit right on the floor. It's rugged and really doesn't require any special mounting. And then you take a line and run it from the uh, one inch ball bark discharge and run it to your drain or to your oil water air separator. If we take a look at a typical pressed air system, we start from the beginning, <coughs> we wind up after we've gone through the after cooler and the separator into an air receiver. And if you notice at that point, there's already two areas where uh, we need to drain accumulated moisture and other uh, materials away from the system. <coughs> if we're looking just at simply running the air to the plant directly from the air receiver, we typically could go through a final coalescing filter to eliminate any other residual oil and mist which comes through and again we'd include a drain trap at that point. Looking at two other options, if you're going through a refrigerated dryer, which is the option shown up on top, typically you'd have the refrigerated dryer which will usually have its own drain valve included, but it's also wise to include a separate filter element downstream of the refrigerated dryer and that should be drained. If you're going through a desiccant dryer, typically you have a pre-filter and a final filter off the desiccant dryer and both those points should be drained. Drainol is really just a great solution. It's an inexpensive product and it's another great solution from control specialists to help improve their productivity in your plant. Thank you for your time and joining us with this slideshow.